This is an entry one functional skills paper from City and Guilds. There are two parts of this paper. One is a non-calculator, the other one is a calculator one. So there are eight marks for the first part. Question one, what is 10 add five? So you could add up from 10, go 11, 12, 13, 14, and it is 15, the answer. Work out 20, take away 12. So what is left, if you go backwards 12 steps, you're going to end up with 8. What is the name of this shape? Rectangle. How many days are there in one week? Seven. Tick all the circles. A man invites 20 guests to a party. Six of the guests said they could not go. How many guests should be at the party? So 20, take away six, what is left? It is 14. A woman needs to buy 15 party bags. She checks the prices on her website. These party bags are sold in packs of 15. She writes down the prices of the party bags, starting with the cheapest. What does she write? So we've got the cheapest is eight pounds. Then we have 12, 15, 18. They're getting more and more expensive. A man buys a birthday cake which costs 15 pounds. He uses a 20 pound note to pay for the cake. He works out he should get five pounds change. So 20 take away 15 pounds equals five pounds show how he can check his answer. So 15 pounds was the cost of the cake. Add the five pounds that was given as change, that gives in total 20, which is what he paid to begin with. So that checks it and it shows us it's correct. So the first part, where you couldn't use a calculator is now finished. Now we're looking at the second part where you can use a calculator. There were 24 marks for this part. We've got to count the balloons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So how many balloons are there? Seventeen. What time does the clock show? 
It's eight o'clock. So we've got three cakes, cake X, cake Y, and cake Z. Which one of the following statements is true? We've got to tick one. First one says cake X is bigger than cake Y. No, that's not right. Cake X is actually smaller, so we can't tick it. Second one is saying cake Z is the biggest. Looking at that, that is not true. It's actually cake Y that is the biggest. Cake Y is the smallest. No, we've just said that it is actually the biggest, so it's not true. And finally, cake Z is smaller than cake Y. Having a look at them, cake Z is actually smaller than cake Y, so that is correct. A party planner gets this booking for a dinner party for 14 people. We've got mains and desserts. He starts to make a telechart to check the orders for the mains. So we've got meat, five, and then fish, three. So we're gonna have to complete this by the looks of it. Yeah, complete the telechart. So we're going to have to complete it. Fish is only three, so we're going to go one, two, three. Vegetarian, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. A chef needs to order the meat and fish two days before the dinner party on Saturday. So two days before Saturday. On what day should he order the meat and fish? So one day before Saturday is Friday. One day before Friday is Thursday. So Thursday is two days before Saturday. And you can check. Thursday, then we're going to Friday and Saturday. The party planner will buy the desserts. These are the costs for the desserts she needs. Apple pie, £4. Ice cream, £7. Fruit salad, £6. She has these notes and coins. Tick the coins and notes to pay for the order. So it's all of them together. So four and six makes 10. And the seven, 17 in total. So 17 pounds for the whole order. Now, if we just pay with a 10 and then the five, that makes 15, so two more pounds, that makes 17. What amount of money would you have left over? Give units with your answer. So going back, this is what is left, and this one. So one pound and another pound, two pounds left. The chef asks the waiter to set the table at six o'clock. The waiter checks his watch. And this is the watch, which shows six o'clock. Should he start setting the table now? Give a reason for your answer. Yes, the reason. It's six o'clock now. 
as shown by the watch. The dinner party is for 14 people. The party planner starts to draw a seating plan. We've got a table and the chairs, so this shows one chair. How many more chairs are needed? So we've got already one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. To get to 14, we need five more chairs. The chef wants the place settings to look like this. Finish this sentence. The waiter must put the fork on the which side of the plate, so left or right. As you can see, the fork is here, so that is on the left side of the plate. The party planner's next booking is for 14 people at a leisure centre. The customer wants the largest room that will hold 14 people. So, largest room and will be able to hold 14 people. So, looking at the rooms, we've got the blue room which holds up to 18 people. So, it holds 14, but is it the biggest? Let's see. Green room which holds up to 15 people, it holds 14 again, but is it the largest room? Red room holds up to 10 people, so it doesn't really hold enough. Yellow room holds up to 20 people, so this is the largest room and it holds 14 and more. So which room should the party planner book? The yellow room. The party will start at three o'clock. Which of these clocks shows the time the party will start? That is A, as you can see. Short hand pointing at three and the long hand pointing at twelve. So that is three o'clock. The customer needs to write directions on the part invitation to say where the leisure centre is. So here is the plan. Use the map to finish this sentence. Walk along the high street, which is this here. Turn right at the post office. And the leisure center is, is on the right or after the supermarket. The party planner needs to pay for the hire of the room for 14 people. She must pay one pound for each person going to the party. What amount must she pay to hire the room? So one pound for each person, that is 14 pounds. She uses this note to pay for the hire of the room. Which of these notes and coins should she get in her change? Tick them. So she's paying with 20, she only needs to pay 14, so six pounds she's going to get back. So five pounds and one pound as change. And this is the end of the paper.